Hello, welcome back to the tavern. This is my February 2021 setup. This month I wanted to focus on self-care. I have really been keeping myself busy with uh, workbooks and reading. And so that's kind of the theme of the month for me. It's just like keeping busy and bettering myself and stuff like that. Um, which is kind of funny because one of the first things I read in this book is... If I can get to it. Oops. Um, you know, sometimes we do that stuff to keep ourselves distracted so we don't have to go and uh, reflect on ourselves. But no worries, I'm definitely reflecting a shit ton. Strawberries. Uh, so usually February is themed around love, but um, instead of romantic love, I wanted to theme it around uh, love of like media and stuff that I like that makes me happy. So that would be like Studio Ghibli, uh, Steven Universe, Pokemon. Uh, a lot of stuff that inspired me to be the artist I am today, like Zelda. Um, I originally wanted to do this kind of Zelda-themed font throughout the month, but it took me so long just to do this one that it wasn't really worth it for me. I'm still running behind. I'm playing catch-up, so I did not want to waste my time doing this elaborate font. Um, there are so many things that I wanted to put on here, but one, for the sake of saving time, and two, because I, for some reason, I just couldn't, um, uh, by the time I thought of it, it was too late. There's just a few cool things that just popped into my mind in the moment. And then I drew a Bulbasaur and Ninetales, they're not actually my favorite Pokemon. If you want to see some of my favorite Pokemon, you have to tune in for my weekly spreads. That should be coming out soon. So hit subscribe. I uh, originally was gonna paint this, but again, for the sake of saving time, I just left it at the uh, line art stage. I may go back and paint it later when I have more time, and then that'll be a separate video. If that's something you'd be interested in, please let me know in the comments down below. We've got some Chamberlain from Dark Crystal action going on here, as well as Demona from Gargoyles. And we can't forget Goku from Dragon Ball. One of my fondest memories is sitting down with the whole family and watching the latest episode of Dragon Ball Z. Sometimes we would have to record it on VHS for mom who was at work. And then we would all watch it together when she got home. And then Kiki is probably my favorite Studio Ghibli movie, so I just drew Tima as Kiki. And she's probably a character that I related to the most growing up. And it's also one of the first uh, Studio Ghibli movies that I had seen. So I'm kind of obsessed. Uh, some close favorites are Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle. Mm, probably forgetting one. Nausicaa? There's so many. These roses are looking a little Georgia O'Keeffe to me. They're supposed to be made out of bread, I guess. Uh, I'm just kind of following the reference screenshot I found online. Ugh. And my strawberry milk that I got from Daiso. I'm so sad. The reason I'm running behind is because I moved away and that took up a lot of time. And I'm so sad because there isn't a Daiso around here. There, there's one small Daiso, but it's not like the full store that has like all the drinks and every single crazy thing you could think of. Anyway, here I am attempting to do tabs for the first time. I was pretty nervous about this part, but I 
like how it turned out in the end, I have made little stickers to go on the tabs. So if you want to see what the finished results look like, you have to watch the uh, weekly setup coming soon. If it's not out already, hit subscribe. Okami, this is Amaterasu. Okami is an awesome game. Uh, if you have not played it, I highly recommend it. You are the sun goddess in wolf form, and it kind of is like Zelda in a way, but as a wolf, but not like Twilight Princess better. I felt like um, because I played this game before I played Twilight Princess, it kind of ruined the wolf sections of that game for me because being a wolf in um, Okami it was so satisfying. It just feels good to run around and it's fluid. And then I debated whether or not to color this in all the way with like white Posca. I just let it stay, or I left it the line art. And then I just filled in the flame with a midliner highlighter. I felt like if I colored it in white, it would take away from the line art. Okami has a very beautiful sumi-e or Japanese block print kind of aesthetic to it, which I didn't represent here, but it is also a very beautiful game and I find it very relaxing to play. I like relaxing, immersive games. I attempted to do Inuyasha and I wanted to make him in his human form because I think if I'm remembering correctly, he becomes a human during the new moon. I still haven't watched the new Inuyasha show where it's like their kids or something. Is that any good? Is it worth watching? I struggled a lot with these drawings for some reason. Sometimes you just don't have a good draw day and no matter what you do or how many times you redraw it, you just can't get it to look quite right. But you gotta get it done, so you gotta call it at some point. Um, very annoying. Sometimes things just come out easily and other times it's a battle. And the Inuyasha and Shishomaru's were definitely in the battle department. Anyway... I tried to do this kind of textured look with the Posca markers. Uh, it was while doing this setup that I wished I had the uh, wider tip Posca markers, um, but I just try to make it look interesting by doing this texture. So I don't know if it looks interesting or if it just kind of looks like sketchy and bad. <laughs> I finally got around to watching the last season of Inuyasha. I don't remember much about it except for that Shishomaru's English voice was really uh, corny. <laughs> I'm sorry, voice actor. Shishomaru made me realize I need to practice more drawing mouths in like different shapes because <laughs> it looks fucking weird. I, th I thought about doing him in his like doggy form. That would have been cool, but maybe not as identifiable. And honestly, I just wanted to draw him in his normal form, in all his Bishonen glory. I made this 60 Days of Gratitude. I think it changed it later to 80 Days of Gratitude because I was able to fit more than that. And I was like, why not? And a few spreads in this setup, since I did it late, instead of having like a habit tracker or anything, I just kind of made it spreads that would be ones that I could go back to even when it was not February anymore, just to uh, make use of the space. Because I did have these drawings all set up for something else, but by the time I got around to working on them, it was halfway or more through the month and it just didn't make sense to have a February habit tracker at the end of February, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I made it something else. And the idea is that every day, if I remember, I will go and think of something that I am grateful for, put a little date by it. Practicing gratitude like this is a good way to uh, remind you that not everything sucks, even if you're in a sucky situation at the moon. Can I please just have some soot sprites as pets? And then for my section where I like to write 
about what this month or this moon represents for the month, I thought it would be appropriate to do Sailor Moon, one of the first animes I've ever watched, and I just recently rewatched a bunch of it on, I think it was on Hulu, and they have the new English dub on there, and it's actually really good. Uh, it was awesome because there's a lot of episodes I feel like I've never seen before because they were kind of cut out originally for the English audience and then they put them back in. I do miss the kind of goofy voice acting from the original one, but it's solid. It's solid. It's good. I'm sure a lot of people would prefer it. Like, uh, probably the character I miss the most is Luna's, like, exasperated old lady voice, I guess you could call it. And then in the new one, she just kind of sounds like a normal girl. <laughs> like, ah, oh, Sailor Moon's voice too. I like the original ones, kind of like super silly, but I thought it added to her kind of goofy character. Is there anything modern that even compares to the like aesthetic and sense of humor and just like epic badassery that is Sailor Moon? The closest thing I can think of is maybe Steven Universe it kind of checks those boxes. If there is something else that I'm unaware of, please let me know what it is because I will totally check it out. But I feel like everything about it. Excellent. Chef's kiss. Nah. It's kind of funny because the information that I copied down about this month's moon is about death lurking around the corner and the ending of all things. So I feel like I should have put Sailor Saturn here or something instead. And then I did Mars because she's just badass. I originally, my failure, ugh. My favorite Sailor Scout was Jupiter, but as I've gotten older, I really like Mars. I really hate how her kimono came out, or it looks really baggy or something. Oh well, I do like how her hair came out though. This is another one of those drawings that looked really epic in my mind, and then when I tried to draw it, my hand just didn't want to do the thing. The character I think that I'm supposed to identify with as a Virgo is Mercury, but she's actually my least favorite scout, I think. I do like that she's like supposed to be super smart and she's very techy. And I like other things associated with the planet Mercury, like Hermes, Wednesday, communication. Yep, I like Wednesday, it's my special art day. But uh... Her attack is Bubbles. Come on. She's still super cute though. I like her hair. All right. And that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this or got some inspiration from it. Oh, and I totally lied earlier. You can see the finished tab stickers uh, right now. Oh, here is my favorites list. I wanted to fill out more, but here is a few things. Um, I can think of a thousand more things that I haven't put on there yet, but this is what I have so far, and this is another spread that I'll come back to as the months go by. If you have any um, questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know if you're interested in seeing the cover painting or the cover for February be painted at some point. Let me know. Uh, if you want to see what I have coming up for the weekly spreads, please subscribe because it's coming soon. If you want to support me, please like and share this with your friends. Yada yada. After the weekly spread goes up, hopefully it'll be followed fairly quickly by March setup and March weeklies and then hopefully I will get April out of the way before April actually begins and I have a cool idea for that so I'm excited for that hopefully I'll have more time to like paint and color and um, just make it super extra so thank you so much for visiting the tavern please come again <laughs>